the value of the expression x power 4 minus 17 x cube plus 17 x square minus 17 x plus 17 at x equals to 16 is which means x is 16 find out the value of the given expression and options are very clear 0 1 2 3 now look at this expression here right polynomial x power 4 minus 17 x cube my uh, plus 17 x square minus 17 x plus 17 so clearly substituting x equals to 16 in this expression is going to make it very very complex right it would be very very calculation intensive and we'll end up wasting about 90 to 120 seconds before we get the answer for this one so what do we do let us do it in a smart way what we'll do here is you know expand this expression split this expression as follows x power 4 as it is minus 17 x cube can be taken as minus 16 x cube minus x cube yes or no minus 16 minus 1 is minus 17. similarly 17 x square can be taken as 16 x square plus x square so 16 x square plus x square 17 x square minus 17 x can be taken as minus 16 x minus x are you able to follow minus 16 minus 1 is minus 17 x plus 17 as it is now substitute the value of x you might be wondering how does it uh, you know wh what is the difference same expression you've just split into uh, two two terms it has in fact made it even more complex but no when you substitute x equals to 16 in this expression you will find that it becomes very easy to simplify so 16 power 4 minus 16 into 16 cube minus 16 cube plus 16 into 16 square plus 16 square minus 16 into 16 minus 16 plus 17 are you able to follow 16 x cube x is nothing but 16 so 16 into 16 cube minus 16 cube 16 into x square so 16 into x is nothing but 16 so 16 square plus x square 16 square 16 into 16 and so on minus 16 plus 17 now simplify so 16 into 16 cube is 16 power 4 so the 16 power 4 16 power 4 gets cancelled this 16 into 16 square is 16 cube so plus 16 cube minus 16 cube gets cancelled 16 square and the 16 into 16 is also 16 square the so 16 square minus 16 square gets cancelled what are we left with minus 16 plus 17 minus 16 plus 17 is 1 so your answer for this question would be option 2 right the simplest form of the expression the given expression is p square minus p divided by 2p cube plus 6p square this is divided by p square minus 1 this is again p square plus 3p again one more term right followed by this division symbol right p square by p plus 1 we have to simplify this so you see there are three terms with uh, some operator mathematical operator in between right both are divisions so we have to simplify and get the simplest form of this expression options are 2p square 1 by 2p square p plus 3 1 by p plus 3 now you can do lots of calculate i mean uh, simplifications there take p common cancel p divisions and all that can be done to arrive at the final answer but a smart student like you a talented student would do what substitute some value for p and check are able to follow. substitute some value of p in this complete expression this big expression here simplify that and substitute the same value of p in the given options whichever option matches with what you have got as per the question expression is your answer so let's keep it simple don't worry about simplification and all that let us substitute uh, p equals to 2 see what happens substitute p equals to 2 you can substitute p equals to 1 as well but the challenge is 1 minus 1 becomes 0 here 1 minus 1 becomes 0 and dealing with all that will become very very complex right i mean undefined values and all that would appear so let us substitute p equals to 2 right so substitute here so 2 square 2 squared minus 2 so 4 minus 2 will be 2 divided by 2 into 2 cube 2 cube is how much 8 8 into 2 16 plus 2 square 4 4 into 6 24 divided by again 2 square 4 4 minus 1 3 divided by 2 square 4 plus 3 into 2 6 divided by 2 square 4 2 plus 1 3 so this upon simplification will give you what 2 by 16 plus 24 is 40 divided by 3 by 10 right divided by divided by 4 by now you can simplify this simplify see we have learned this in simplifications video what do you do whenever fractions are followed by division symbol you can convert this to multiplication reciprocate the fraction so this will be like 2 by 40 into 10 by 3 into 3 by 4 are you able to follow you can convert this to multiplication and reciprocate this fraction so this becomes 3 by uh, 10 becomes 10 by 3 how 
because we have taken this division in forms of multiplication reciprocate similarly this division you convert to multiplication 4 by 3 becomes 3 by 4 now simplification becomes easy right 3 and 3 gets cancelled and we have what this is like 2 into 10 20 20 goes how many times 2 times here so finally 1 by 2 into 1 by 4 1 by 8 so by taking p equals to 2 we get 1 by 8 in this expression substitute the same value of p equals to 2 in all the four options substitute in all the four options and see which one satisfies so first option See, if you take p as 2, this will be 2 square 4, 4 into 2, 8. But do we need 8? No. We want 1 by 8. Is this 1 by 8? Yes. See, 2p square is 8. 1 by 2p square will be 1 by 8. So this seems to be the right one. Anyway, let's quickly verify the other options also. p plus 3. So 2 plus 3, 5. Do we need 5? No. 1 by p plus 3, 1 by 5. Do we need 1 by 5? No. Answer is option 2. Now you may ask me, why do we take 2? Why can't we take 3, 4? You can take any value there. The larger the value, the complex the simplification would be, right? So just keep that in mind. Keep all the conditions given in the question in mind and try to work on such questions. But, but do not take P as 1. Taking P as 1 would make it complex. I mean, you will be left in a no man's land. So to avoid that, take some value which will give you a proper, uh, you know, non-zero result, right? A non-zero result will be very easy to verify. If 2 power x equals to 4 power y equals to 8 power z, and x into y into z equals to 88, then the value of 1 by 2x plus 1 by 4y plus 1 by 8z. If 2 power x equals to 4 power y equals to 8 power z, and there's one more equation, x, y, z equals to 288, then he's asking us to find out the value of the expression. What is the expression? 1 by 2x plus 1 by 4y plus 1 by 8z. Now see, in this case, if you want to substitute uh, random values of x, y, z, I mean, such that it satisfies the given expressions or equations, it would be very, very complex because equations are like not, uh, you know, linear equations, right? 2 power x equals to 4 power y equals to 8 power z. And then x into y into z equals to 88. There will be many, many solutions, right? So we'll have to be very, very, uh, it will be very, very complex to uh, guess the values there. So better you actually go with the regular solution. What can be done? Look at this part now. 2 power x as it is. This 4 can be taken as 2 squared. 2 squared power y. 8 can be taken as 2 cube. 4 power z. So if you simplify this further, what do we get? 2 power x equals to 2 power 2y equals to 2 power 3z. Now see, the bases are all equal. 2, 2 and 2. So can we compare the powers directly? Yes. So we can now conclude that x is equal to 2y which is equal to 3z. Are able to follow? We are just comparing the powers because all the bases are equal, right? So x equals to 2y equals to 3z. And we can actually take it as k if you want. So from this, you know, x equals to k, y equals to k by 2, and z equals to k by 3. x equals to k. Don't write all these steps in the exam. Just for the sake of explanation, I'm putting it here, right? y equals to k by 2, and we can say z equals to k by 3. That's it. Now what happens is when you substitute x, y, and z in terms of k in this equation, will get the value of k, right? So what will that be? k into k by 2 into into k by 3 equals to 288. So simplify k cube will be equal to 6 into 288. So 6 into 288. Now I think 288 can be taken as 36 into 8. So this will be equal to 6 into 36 into 8. See, the reason why I'm taking it as 36 into 8 and not 144 into 2 or 72 into 4 is because we are trying to find out the value of k. For that, see, k is, in you know, with the power of q, right? q, with the power of 3, raised to the power of 3. So we need to get perfect cubes on the right-hand side as well. So from this, what do we get? k cube equals to, see, 36 can be taken as 6 square. So 6 into 6 square, 6 cube. Into 8 can be taken as 2 cube. So basically, the value of k will be what? 6 into 2, 12. So no, k cube equals to 6 into 2 whole cube. So cube and cube gets cancelled. You can say k equals to 12. Now, because you know the value of k, you can find out what is x, y, and z. Substitute that. Right? So you can now conclude that x equals to k, which is 12. y equals to half of k, which would be 6. And z equals to one third of k. So 12 by 3, which is equal to 4. Substitute these three values in the required expression. So this will be equal to 1 by 2 into 12, 24, plus 1 by 4 into 6, 24, plus 1 by 8 into 4, 32.
what would be the LCM? 24 and 32, I think 96 is the LCM. 24 goes four times, four plus four, 36 goes, 32 goes three times. So 11 by 96 is the final Please do not go by the length of the solution. All the steps have been put here on paper. You can cut down a lot of these steps and get the answer really quick. All right.